So we're going to make this, we're going to go hard and fast. Like the cards. Yeah. So select all, delete. Going to jump onto Sketchfab, download this one, Highway 50, New Cold Springs, link in the description. It is for free. File, import, FBX, go to where it is, import. And as you can see, it's a little bit off center. That's fine. Let's kind of manually realign it. Beautiful. Now I kind of want to make this road a little bit longer. Actually, let's straighten it up like this, Marco. I want to make this a little bit longer. Let's go Control A, apply all transformations. I'm going to go just click right there. Scale X minus one. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a seam, but you know what? I don't care. That's fine. Now we're going to set up our lighting. I am going to use cycles. So we come over into the render settings, EV cycles, GPU. Um, 32 and I'm gonna go 32 on the render come all the way down to motion blur let's go not into film let's go into performance and I'm gonna turn on persistent data the light paths we're gonna change this four one one four mm, four <laughs> I just want to be able to render this as quickly as possible with the world environment I'm gonna click on world I'm gonna click on this yellow thing here let's go into environment texture open and if you go into C, Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender 4, Blender 4, Data Files, Studio Lights, World, you have a whole bunch of HDRIs in here. I want a sunset, open image. And so if we go into rendered mode and press numpad 5 to get into orthographic, we see that we've got this beautiful lighting here that I'm really happy with. Um, however, if you do want those kind of like more harsher shadows, we can always... Um, close this, click on the yellow there next to environment texture and we just kind of go into sky texture. We can come into the render settings, come down into film, exposure down to 0.2 and then we have this kind of lighting. We can go even a little bit harsher. Let's go mm, elevation of 5. Ooh, yeah baby. Look at that. That looks cool. Yeah, let's go with that one. Now, we need to add in some traffic. This is where the fun bit comes in because I'm gonna use procedural traffic. So if you click on procedural traffic, download it from the Blender Market, link in the description. I'm gonna click on import traffic, and that's now added in a whole bunch of assets. I'm gonna get rid of the ground plane, and we're gonna select both of these. Control J to join, just so it's one object to make our life easier. Click and drag that into ground. From here, this box here slows down the traffic, and this one here stops the traffic. I don't want that. If we click on curves, the road curve, obviously we just kind of want a straight line for this one. Scale Y zero. And I'm gonna move this all the way to the end. And then with this car, G to the X. Let's go all the way like that. We can see that it's not straight towards the end, which is fine, but I will put our line like that. Um, I think we need to put one in the middle. So I'm gonna subdivide and we're just gonna go GY. From here, we need to bring in our cars. I'm going to select Tesla add this thing uh, let's go a Nissan Rogue I have no idea what that car is but let's add that one in and if we come down we can see that cars are now being added let's go ahead and add in BMW add three cars should be enough if I now click on the traffic number of cars let's go 20 beautiful now they're obviously all in one line don't want it in one line let's come over into two-way traffic so I'm going to click on that one and we can see that the traffic is on the wrong side. Uh, minus six. Beautiful. Cars are a little bit too far apart. So let's go minus four. I'm just going to grab the curve and we're just going to move it over just so that our cars are actually on the road. Whoa, a little bit too far, mate. Oh, jeez. Hold shift to move slowly. And then we can bring those cars back a little bit. Well, actually, I think we should probably scale this scene down. So let's go like that. Select our cars again minus two minus 1.5 that's looking gorgeous however if we were to press play it is chunky let's go into fast preview now there's a lot of data on this mesh and that's why this is all running kind of slow should be a lot faster but uh yeah massive what i'm going to do now quickly is max accel sorry acceleration i'm actually going to set that to like 150 max speed we will go 50 slow speed we got rid of that box it doesn't matter speed variation let's go 10 braking distance is 30 brake speed yep no worries no worries that's all good distance between cars minus 20 
and then from here what I'm going to do is let's just go bake selected and it's just going to bake that simulation and so now that's baked we can now kind of like scrub through the timeline awesome now what I'm going to do is add a camera shift a camera control numpad zero so it goes to my view and which car are we going to follow we're going to follow this one down here so let's point at it from here I'm going to come over into the camera settings let's go viewport display composition guides and I want center so I can actually see that point there because we're going for like a police helicopter view I am going to increase our camera sensor no I'm not focal length let's make it like 120 mil there we go I'm going to press I location rotation and then because we're following that one I kind of ooh, which one are you actually which one are we following I think it's that one there yep so we're following this one here which obviously I can't click but I'm just gonna have to try and pay attention and uh, these cars are like going super slow aren't they far out all right so now we've updated that with more speed <laughs> let's go delete all the keyframes and we'll start again let's target this car rotate rotate and I think we're looking at this one just going to kind of track him along they there you are and then when we kind of move on we go like this Ugh. so it's this one here and so when we select our camera now G to the X where is it there it is rotate Z go into the camera view and now we can kind of point it there let's go through the whole process of lining it up again now i am going to change this down into the dope sheet and expand this out because i only want the y axis i believe yep nope the x axis to be linear so let's go ahead i don't need the scales i'm just going to delete oops just going to delete the scales to make my life a little bit easier we're going to go X location here is going to be linear control I to invert my selection T and this is going to be a Bezier might give it a little bit of a shake here and now when we go ahead and watch it again it's still linear and I hate you <laughs> let's select everything oops T Bezier and then we'll just tidy up the keyframes a little bit and if we go on f12 let's have a quick squeeze what is our render going to look like because we probably should have tested that earlier driving a little bit off the road same as these cars so let's clean that up and going to rebake and then render <laughs> 